Welcome to our video on mastering fire pump sizing according to NFPA 20 guidelines. Please note that this content is exclusive to YouTube and you won't find an explanation anywhere else. I request you to please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS. Thank you. Now let's start. See I will use one example to help you easily select the fire pump size avoiding any unnecessary time wasting for all of us. So let us have a look at this particular example. As you can see the question, what flow and pressure should a fire pump be sized for in a system with specific demands? So for any particular project, we have these three particular requirements. Sprinkler system is also installed, standpipe system is installed and hydrant network is also installed. So just we will try to, uh, you know, mention the water demand for each system and then we will select the fire pump size. So based on hydraulic calculations, uh, we got results for example as 535 GPM at 86 PSI and the standpipe system demand as 1000 GPM at 145 PSI and for the hydrant network we got as 1500 GPM at the most remotest hydrant with pressure 20 PSI. Then based on these three values, one, two, and three, we need to select the fire pump size. So how we need to select? We need to select based on the highest flow and highest pressure. So it's very, very simple. So based on these three, I will take some other uh, color and we can select the fire pump as 1500 GPM at the rate 145 PSI and the type can be horizontal split case pump or end section pump or vertical turbine pump. When we need to select these pumps, what will be the criteria to select these pumps we will discuss in our next class. Thank you for watching this video on fire pump sizing as per NFPA 20. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with more informative content on fire protection systems.